and welcome back to my channel my name is jenna if it's the first time you see me and if at the end of this video you'd like to see more of me do go ahead and hit that subscribe button so today it's raining which it doesn't do a lot in la i'm used to like living in florida where it rains for like three months straight and so look it's kind of nice it's like a nice little change of pace so today we're like staying in obviously i have my patio furniture over there in this area um it's from ikea i'll link it down below but my tasks for today are to assemble that obviously and then i want to hang this photo that i got and also i want to make pumpkin soup because i feel like it's rainy it's cold it's fall like i feel like this calls for pumpkin soup and i have a pumpkin so why not let's make pumpkin soup and also i've been wanting to make some like art for my um apartment some like diy like spackling art that i've seen like on tiktok of course and so we're going to be doing that I ordered these other canvases and I was gonna like make those today also, but they're not arriving until Tuesday, so boo. But maybe like in the next video, I'll show you guys like what I did with those. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little laundry and then we'll get started, you know? I was gonna say good morning in these, but it's never the morning, it's always like 2 p.m. and I'm just like getting started because, but yeah, um, let's get started. <laughs> I literally bought a drop cloth for this because I didn't want to damage the hardware because, you know, the deposit. We're doing a small piece, so it doesn't need to be huge. This is literally the piece to one of those, like, storage shelves. It's, like, the middle section. I put my shoe rack in there, so this is, like, the middle of it. So I was like, I have this. I feel like I can paint over this. Let's do it. You know, we just need to cycle. This is a great angle. Anyways, you know my toes in the frame. Here's our supplies. Everything is from Amazon. So I got a bunch of paints. Everything is either brown, green, or cream because that's, that's kind of the vibe right now. Uh, this is all apple orchard or apple barrels or apple barrel and folk art. And then I got a pack of brushes. Spackling, of course and um like these little tools to make different designs and things i also got um some white paint and we have some plastic cups and plates of course basically i'll show you guys like an info picture of um like kind of what i'm going for basically um this tiktok is kind of what we're gonna try and recreate so like this Here's some more. So I think I think I should just get into it, you know? There's really no rhyme or reason. We're just kind of going in. Imagine like actually being like a carpenter or like, you know, a painter and actually needing spackling and <laughs> you go to the store and they're out because a bunch of random people on the internet are making spackling art. We're just creating nice texture. I think it's a bit flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I don't know, I want it to look really organic, but I'm doing so much. <laughs> it's like one of those things where like the more you want it to look very like carefree and random, like the more you actually, oh my god, art is hard you guys. <laughs> I want to just scrape it all off and start over. I feel like, oh my god, oh my god, she's doing it. The, it seems so easy when she did I think I did too much, like I need to leave some empty, like, Face. I'm trying to think about what it's gonna look like after I paint it so I'm trying to like plan for that I guess so this is the patio it's a Lexi and then one chair and this isn't my first rodeo with IKEA furniture so we're just gonna get in right into it I think I can do this I I hope I can finish this before um, the sun goes down because it's daylight savings barbarian tradition and so it gets dark at like 4 p.m. and it's the absolute worst. I was getting really upset because I thought like the screw wasn't going in and it's because it was literally like the wrong screw and that just goes to show you like if something is meant for you you won't have to force it. That was, that was so cheesy and so stupid, I'm sorry. But it's true. Okay. And that's one done. Woohoo! Instructions? Not needed. We've got this. I did in fact not 
have it and I didn't need those instructions. This was supposed to be an easy build and it's anything but. But yeah, all the pieces are like slightly different. So kind of slightly the same. So you really have to like put them all together and like look at it. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, basically is what I'm trying to say. I was literally like losing my mind because I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get this pattern to match so like this is going down and this is going across and I couldn't like match it without the legs not matching or like the arms not matching like it was just like pissing me off and so I was like okay like let me look at like the Ikea picture see if I can figure it out because I feel like they sent me two of like one side because these don't match up and if you actually <laughs> look at the picture go to the actual picture on Ikea you can see like where one pattern is across and one is down they're not supposed to match like the pattern is not supposed to match like at all hold on let's get a better view see how like one of them goes across and one of them goes down it's not supposed to match like I was sitting here like I was sitting here like losing my mind like trying to figure out why this pattern doesn't match and like why there's no configuration where the holes match and it's because it doesn't it's not supposed to I think that's a bit ridiculous but whatever Ikea that's done now we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna clean up a bit and then we'll start on the last chair because it's daylight saving so even though it's like four o'clock it's we're already losing daylight you know so um let's i think this one will be easy because um it's just like one chair now oh i don't like that okay well i realized i may have built the other one wrong but it's too late at this point alexa and that's it with our set. Hello. I just thought that was the funniest thing ever. Anyways, it's actually oh, I have to stop. It's actually very early out. Um, even though it's like pitch black outside, it's like 5:58, and I don't want to make the soup just yet. But I am very hungry. I'm a little. A bit peckish you know and i have some things left to do so we're gonna make some ramen this is literally what they had at target um it's not what i usually get but this is all they had because i didn't want to walk to h mart because it's a it's a walk it's shio ramen japanese style noodles and then i have a pack of like seaweed from another bowl of ramen that i bought and i like forgot to use the seaweed so we're gonna use it now we have a sprig of green onion and egg. We're gonna do the last of this batch of pork belly. Um, it's pork belly and then it's just marinated in the sauce. It's like gochujang and garlic and ginger and sesame oil, just like a standard marinade. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. So this is our ramen. The egg presentation could definitely be better, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's whatever. The broth is not bad. It kind of reminds me of like cup ramen, but it's good. It's decent. It's a solid bowl of ramen. Very, right, very solid. We're gonna go ahead and hang this canvas. I got from Ross. It was only twenty-four dollars. Okay. Yeah, 25 $24.99. Um, and I like it, and I was about to put it in my room, but I think like the gray is just a bit too dark. Um, I kind of want my room to be like more like bright and fun, um, but I thought this would be nice like in the hallway. It's like a little, a little piece in the hallway, you know? So this is the hallway that leads into my bathroom, so it's really just like this blank wall, and then this blank wall, and I just have like my mirror here. Hello. I kind of 
gonna look like cover this. <laughs> you know, that's what I should've got. I should've got something to cover this up here. Maybe like down here. Like right above the panel. Let's do that. <laughs> So we're gonna be using these deco nails. These are from Target. Uh, these are like the only things I use to hang my pictures because they're so easy and they're so reliable. So I just measured like the center of the wall and then two points next to it. Cause I think just one, um, one nail isn't enough. I think it looks good. Looks great. Close our eyes. Let's walk back in. You can kind of see it in the corner, in the mirror. And then you walk in and then it's like art. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Now, back to the painting. So I know you're all looking at this like, what just happened? Um, so basically, it just wasn't turning out the way I wanted and it didn't look like what I thought it would in my head but that's like the fun thing about art you know like it doesn't have to look a certain way and I'm kind of just being very experimental with this and just kind of seeing what I like anyways <coughs> not my voice cracking anyways this is what we have it's very wavy <laughs> it's kind of random I kind of like it um yeah it's gonna take forever to dry, but I, I like it. So I lied, I didn't like it, I did. My forehead looks massive, anyways, I didn't like it. I ended up scrapping the whole thing, and I did this, and now it's this, and I'm gonna leave it like this, I'm not gonna touch it. I think I was just enjoying like painting as like a process, and just kinda like messing around with things, but um, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna let it dry. Anyways, now that that's done, let's get to the main event. So the pumpkin soup, I have here, um, it's pumpkin, some onions with salt, pepper, olive oil, and cayenne pepper. This is in the oven to broil for a few minutes just to get some color, some char. I'm also going to add some brown sugar and um, Italian seasoning. So while this cooked down, I went ahead and took a shower, got ready for bed, and I think the pumpkin is like soft enough to blend. So this is currently what we're working with. Oh no! Oh, I missed an onion. Now I have to throw it away because I already cleaned the blender off. <laughs> See, and also that's my problem whenever I cook. I like to clean as I go, but sometimes I clean too quickly, you know? And then I do things like that. And now for some, oh, heavy cream. I didn't mean to do that much cream, but that's fine. I love the marble whenever you pour in cream. It's so fun. So, we've got bread. I'm gonna use some Colby Jack and um, mozzarella and here we have the final product a little soup decorating this is just um, heavy cream and then of course our grilled cheese and then we have some for you know later and yeah that's it and we're gonna end the video here cuz it's late I'm really gonna eat and chill for like 30 minutes and then go to bed um, so yeah, that is my video. Today has been a day. I literally have back pain from building furniture. Um, so I have that to look forward to in the morning. But that is the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram and my other socials. I'll link them all down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!